Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs has formally submitted a request to visit China, preparing to send representatives to Beijing to discuss the Nixperia issue, and China has agreed. Just as the Dutch delegation was about to depart, a spokesperson for the Ministry of Commerce set the tone globally with five words, the responsibility lies with the Netherlands. These five words struck like a hammer blow to those who attempted to confuse the public. From forcibly taking over a Chinese company to cutting off wafer supplies, and then triggering turmoil in the global automotive supply chain, what exactly was the Dutch government's purpose in this series of bizarre actions? And how will China's proposed three practical actions bring this farce to a close? With the European Commission beginning to condemn the Netherlands' absurd behavior, is there still any suspense regarding the ending of this drama? The story begins with the Dutch government's astonishing decision on September 30th. At that time, the Dutch government suddenly used national security as a pretext to forcibly take over Nixperia, a Dutch semiconductor company effectively controlled by a Chinese company. It was clear to everyone that this event was nothing more than a political performance under pressure from the United States. However, the Netherlands not only failed to give China a clear response on this matter, but also attempted to evade the issue after the Sino-US meeting, trying to pressure China by cutting off wafer supplies in order to gain actual control of Nixperia. Faced with this situation, China first cut off Nixperia's Chinese subsidiaries' product deliveries overseas. Subsequently, relevant departments publicly responded to the incident, stating that Chinese companies will, upon application, resume partial chip supplies to foreign companies ahead of schedule. From the perspective of European countries, the Netherlands has become an insecure factor in the stability of the European supply chain. Who is Nixperia? It's no small player. It's a leading global supplier of power semiconductors and analog chips, especially irreplaceable in the automotive chip sector. The Netherlands thought that cutting off wafer supplies would force China to compromise on the issue. Unexpectedly, Chinese companies countered by publicly disclosing their chip inventory, enough to last at least until the end of the year. European automakers, waiting for Chinese chip supplies, were outraged and began pressuring the Netherlands. Even EU Trade and Economic Security Commissioner Sefcovic publicly condemned the Dutch government's actions, calling on the Netherlands to take immediate measures and end this absurd behavior. On November 8, a spokesperson for the Ministry of Commerce, answering reporters' questions regarding the Nixperia issue, set the tone globally with five words, the responsibility lies with the Netherlands. Ministry of Commerce spokesperson He Yadeng further emphasized at a regular press conference, the Netherlands' improper interference in Nixperia's internal affairs has caused turmoil and chaos in the global semiconductor supply chain. The Dutch government, disregarding China's reasonable demands raised repeatedly in consultations, has failed to demonstrate a constructive attitude and actions, and has escalated the global supply chain crisis. The Netherlands should bear full responsibility for this. These five words, the responsibility lies with the Netherlands, may seem simple, but they carry immense weight and clearly indicate the path to reconciliation. It explicitly tells the world, the source and responsibility for this global semiconductor supply chain chaos lie entirely with the Dutch government. If automakers in various countries suffer losses, they should seek compensation from the Dutch government, not China. China has been seeking dialogue and communication on this issue, but the Dutch government's lack of cooperation has led to its further escalation. For the Netherlands to resolve the issue, it must compensate for the losses caused to Chinese companies and restore actual control of the Dutch headquarters to resume wafer supply. In retrospect, the Nixperia incident is far more than a simple commercial dispute. It is a profound contest concerning international business rules, investment protection principles, and the bottom line of great power competition. This incident exposes the double standards of certain Western countries when dealing with Chinese companies. 
While they proclaim free market and fair competition, they do not hesitate to use administrative means to interfere in the internal affairs of companies and forcibly take over Chinese enterprises. This double standard approach completely tears off the disguise of Western defenders of the market economy. Furthermore, this incident also demonstrates China's strategic wisdom in safeguarding its own rights. China did not adopt simple and crude retaliatory measures, but rather targeted and precise strikes at the heart of the problem. Cutting off Nexperia's chip exports from China has made the global automotive industry realize the importance of China's supply chain, and has also made the Dutch government aware of the serious consequences of its actions. Meanwhile, China promptly announced a conditional exemption, demonstrating its responsibility as a major power and preventing further disruption to the global supply chain. This reasonable, advantageous, and measured approach not only safeguarded the legitimate rights and interests of Chinese companies, but also demonstrated China's responsibility for the stability of the global supply chain, while also providing the Dutch government with a way out. This truly reflects the wisdom of a major power. The Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs is about to send representatives to China for consultations, which is a positive sign. However, as the spokesperson for the Ministry of Commerce stated, the Dutch side's statements cannot remain merely lip service. What China needs to see is concrete action from the Netherlands. China has previously clarified its path to reconciliation, reinstating Chinese executives, cancelling the trusteeship, and restoring wafer supply. These three points are the bottom line and the prerequisite for reconciliation. If the Dutch delegation comes to Beijing with sincerity and constructive solutions, then this farce can be brought to a swift end. However, if they continue to haggle and push their luck, the Netherlands will face even harsher countermeasures. In a sense, the Nexperia incident is an inevitable challenge for Chinese companies going global. As Chinese companies gain increasing importance in the global industrial chain, the anxiety and suppression from certain Western countries will become more frequent. China is no longer the China of two or three decades ago. As long as China masters core technologies and production capacity and occupies a key position in the global industrial chain, it has sufficient confidence and strength to safeguard its rights. The Dutch government has learned a lesson this time at a considerable cost. Whether they can truly learn from this experience remains to be seen, depending on their future actions.